Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. We're going to start a new campaign here in Victoria 2, Heart of Darkness. Uh, we ha put it to the poll on where to play, and the winner was the Papal States. Let's hop in. The Papal States. Uh, so people gave us some suggestions on what to do on how to get started as the Pope Man. Uh, obviously, we want to group up our army a little bit. Looks like we can build one more troop. Yeah, get me another infantry, please. Thank you. And that's going to be it. We can have five troops. We have military strength of two. We have no industry. We have a tiny bit of prestige. Uh, we're not researching anything. Uh, since we're this small, we want to become a great power as fast as possible. So we're going to go for prestige. Well, do I want... Uh, yeah, go for prestige tech first. Get that done. Uh... We'll focus on prestige for a while. Obviously, we'll come down here for the research points bonus, and we'll need, uh, where is it, right here. Yeah, we'll need market functionality uh, a lot so that we can sphere all the Italian states. To form Italy, we're going to need a lot of work uh, trying to push France and Austria out of all this stuff. Currently, France has us in his sphere, and Austria has, let me show you the sphere. Austria has all these little Italian miners in his sphere, and France has us in his sphere. Uh, France will probably focus on people like Belgium and Switzerland. He may also try for Spain. So France will probably focus on them, but he may put his grubby little mitts on like Sardinia Piedmont or the two Sicilies or something. Who knows? Uh, but Austria is definitely going to try to hold on to these guys, and we're going to have to wrest them away from him. I don't want Austria uh, having any of this crap. So, uh, starting out here, I think what we're going to do... Well, obviously, we're going to tax the shit out of people because fuck the people. Uh, might want to get education up, administration up. Oh, man, our economy is just a pile of garbage. We're losing 20 bucks a day. Uh, so let's... We don't, have any, we don't have any factories, so tariffs don't do anything. But, uh, yeah, why don't we build a factory? Yeah, let's build a factory. Build a factory. Um, what do we need? We have no ability to build a factory because we're broke as fuck. <laughs> okay, so we can't build a factory. Well, why don't we start off with some education? How's our education? 35%. That's just garbage. All right, fine. Start with education. We'll worry about factories once we have some education. Uh, and I think, first and foremost, let's go for an alliance with France. Uh, he will. Very good. And unpause. We'll let that alliance tick through. These. There we go. France accepted. Great. That means... Oh, and Britain decided to ally Greece. Okay. And now we're going to go for annexation of Tunisia. Establish protectorate. Uh, going to get somewhere around 10 infamy. Maybe like 6 or 7. We're going to need some boats to get down there too. I don't think we have any boats. Well, how the hell can we get to Tunisia if we don't have any boats? That's a problem. Can I build a navy? No, I can't. Okay, so I don't even need... We don't even need ports to build these things. All right, well, just give me five of those. Sure. Done. It's a start. Okay, great. Um, that's 80 days to build those, but we got to buy the resources first. And uh, how the hell are we going to get our economy to... Oh, man, our economy's just in the shitter. Uh, we can lower this down for a while. Uh, man, I need our education, though. We really need our education. This is just... Oh, oh my goodness. We need our economy to survive. This is not great. Alright, guys, what do we do about our economy? <laughs> We need money. Oh my goodness. But anyway, yeah. Italy has a bunch of cores that we have to take before we can actually form Italy. Uh, we can take a look at the diplomatic map mode. We can see all the Italian cores. They are crisscrossed yellow. So Sardinia, Piedmont, Lombardia from Austria. Austria owns that. Uh, all the little Italian minor states, including ourselves, and two Sicilies. We don't need Malta. That's owned by Britain. That's good, because going to war with Britain does not sound fun. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be a relatively difficult task. And to do that, we're going to need probably the help of France to go beat up Austria. 
We're going to have to fabricate on Lombardia mm, so we can get that. Once we have that, we'll be pretty much okay. I guess we could make him release Lombardia. It's probably less. It's better than the 10 infamy you take when you fabricate to take the province. I think Actually, it's 11 infamy, isn't it? Jesus. It's not cheap. But yeah, we need that state if we want to form Italy. All right, transports are building, uh, and our economy sort of has stabilized. I mean, it's not good, but lowering the funding for troops has helped. Um, are there any more troops? No, still no more troops we can build, darn it. Yeah, the economy's not the best. Uh, it, it would help if we had some factories, I mean, like a glass factory or something. You can see our top three imports are grain, wine, and glass. So if we get a glass factory, we'd be, we'd be set. What do we even produce? What do we even produce? Let's take a look. We have fruit, 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 grain, timber, and wool. Wow, we produce garbage. Oh, and we're making money now. Good. Let's spend a lot. Oh yeah, we're making money while we spend. That's the best. We're making money while we spend everything. Great. Tourism wasn't the big thing. Yeah, if we had tourism, we'd be fine. You're right. Um, I think all that money that was going out was being used to build our ships. We needed to buy a bunch of goods to build our ships. And I think that was that's what was going on. And now that we've already paid for them, we're good to go. Now you just have to pay for upkeep on the ships. But that should be okay. I think. Maybe. Everyone go meet up in Rome. Okay, so Austria is allying... All of the little nations down here that he has feared. Sardinia still has no alliance. And what about Sicily? Still nothing. Okay, good. Oh, Sardinia allied Switzerland? I've never seen that. Sardinia and Switzerland always go to war with each other. I've never seen them ally. That's just crazy. That's crazy talk. Hmm. Okay. Come on, finish the ship. Finish ship. And I think I will lower military spending just a bit because I want to have some type of money coming in, rolling in, so that we can uh, start building some factories. We need some factories. All right, we're good to go. How's our claim fabrication working? Uh, 66, and we have not been discovered yet, so we have no infamy yet. Good. Good, 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 good. <sighs> Come on, fleet. There we go. Great. Now... One thing that sucks about this, since we don't have any ports... Yeah, we need to tech up the ports. Since we don't have any ports, uh, I don't think our ships are really going to get any of their supplies, which really sucks. So once they get damaged, I don't think we can even repair them. I'm not sure, though. I mean, we have these docks. The docks, they're just a dock. Uh, you need a port if you actually want to repair. But for the port, we need money. So we need that... We'll build some ports, build some factories, all that stuff. Yes, we're going to go beat up Tunis as the start. Uh, Algeria will come after them, maybe? I don't know. You guys will have to tell me what we should do after Tunisia. Tunisia is just the easy uh, first step. They have a little bit of population. Uh, Algeria has less population, but that doesn't mean they're useless. Uh, taking this state down here... Constantine would be nice. Actually, what do they have in Constantine? They have... Oh, we can't take Constantine. Right. 
We can't take Constantine because that's their capital, but we can take this state, which has, let's see, iron, fruit, wool, grain, and wool. So it's pretty useless, but it exists. We might take it. Other option is we could go for something like Johor, which has gold, and later on it'll have rubber. Oh, wow, look at that. We did not get discovered fabricating on Tunis. So we took no infamy fabricating on him. Egypt would also be really, 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 really nice. Uh, Oman, yeah, we could go for Oman. But that's several different states, right? Yeah, Oman has like four different states here in Africa. So we wouldn't be able to take much of that. However, if we teched up to nationalism and imperialism, then we could annex Oman with one war. It's a big difference uh, between, you know, just going in for one little state, which is five infamy, and just using ten infamy to annex the whole nation. So that's always nice. Alright, well, why don't we go ahead and ship over our troops on the boats, will ya? Let's go to Tunis. Beat the crap out of this son of a bitch. And, uh, yeah, I want to start fabricating again right away. So why don't you tell me uh, which ones we should go for? Let's see, what's chat saying? Uh, sell the churches and the art? I don't think that's an option. Conquered part of India. Good for you. What about hedges? The Pope is taking Mecca. You know, that would be hilarious if we took Hedges, but he is allied to Yemen. Yeah, they're each one state, so we could go annex both of them, but nah, I don't think I want to do that. Dock up in French Algeria? Oh yeah, we can dock in French Algeria, good point. No, we can't dock. We cannot dock in France, so that doesn't help. He's our ally, but we can't dock there. Johor, Madagascar. Yeah, I think I think Johor is just a really, really, really good choice. Uh, it doesn't have everything because Britain owns three counties here. It doesn't actually have everything because Britain owns those. Uh, but what is available includes two gold provinces, uh, and this one will become rubber. I don't think this changes, but this one will become rubber. So, yeah, let's go for Johor. Uh, he's not in anyone's sphere right now. He's neutral to everyone. So justify, protectorate, Johor. Uh, if we get lucky, we won't get cap. I don't know how we got that lucky. We got so lucky that we did not get discovered at all. No infamy down here. Let's go kick their ass. Come on. Don't, don't, don't get discovered in Johor. You know what the hardest thing is for Johor? is going to be getting over there. We need to get fleet rights from France. All right, let me ask. Uh, military access. There we go. Thank you. All right, let's go dock in France. Good, good thinking. Then we get military access. Atse just allied Johor. That's fine. Okay, let's go. Oh, we don't have a freaking diplomat. Oh shit. We don't have a diplomat. That's not good. We got discovered in Johor. Nine infamy. Ouch. But whatever. Nine infamy for two nations? Not bad. Oh, come on. I need my diplo points. God, this sucks. We only get 0.3 per month. It's going to take two months before we can declare war. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. I need more diplo points. One more month. Just go speed all the way up. Make the month pass. France ally Russia, that's fine. It's actually really good for France because Russia helps uh, soak in the damage when they eventually go to war with, with uh, Germany. All right, there we go. Perfect. Tunis, you're going down. France, would you like to join my war? Very likely. All right, sure. Come on in, France. The water's warm. War between the Netherlands and Belgium. Oh, that's not the war I care about.
You're going down, Tunis. Look at those numbers. God. Uh, yeah, we could fund the... No, we are funding the troops. The troops already have full funding. Military spending, this... Uh, I don't think this really affects... Uh, how well the troops perform. Maybe it does? Not entirely sure. Anyway, we'll see just capital down. You know, we should dock our ships at the French port. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Where's the French port? There it is. Dock our ships there, because we can't even build a port yet. We don't have the money. We need a little more money, and we can start building some ports. Belgium wants to acquire Gelderland from the Netherlands. Wow. Belgium is getting really cranky there. Um, where's Belgium? They're not even at war. Belgium just added a demand to a war, and they're not even at war. Yeah, they're at peace. What? <laughs> okay. Isn't the Pope supposed to be rich? Well... Maybe personally rich, but the nation itself is not very rich. Goodbye, Tunisian army. Our ships, I hope they're getting repaired up there. It's going to be a big problem here. It's going to be a big problem trying to get all the way to Johor with our navy. We can dock at these French ports, which we're, we're going to have to do. Uh, there's French ports over here. Uh, there's a French port right there. So we can use those as jumping points to get over there. But man, that's going to be tough. Alright, come on down. There we go, full health, good, good. Uh, just come here to Tunis. Okay, we got our CB. So we have until February of next year to attack Johor. And then the question is, where do you want to go from Johor? Maybe Brunei? Uh, there, Atja, maybe? But we'll have a we'll have a truce with Aceh, so we can't declare on him. Maybe Yemen. I mean, hedges sounds fun. Maybe maybe Egypt. Yeah, we could go get uh, Jerusalem. Well, actually, I think I would want Sinai instead. Yeah, let's fabricate on uh, let's fabricate on Egypt. Free people? Oh yeah, they can free Ethiopia. Liberate country? Who the fuck is available for that? I don't even know. We'll just demand concession from from Egypt. We'll get the uh, the Sinai. Borders? I don't care about borders. <laughs> You're watching the wrong Let's Player if you think I care about borders. Where's my navy? Oh, there we go. Come on, dock up. February of next year. So we gotta hurry. I mean, we can declare before we get there, which we're gonna have to do. But yeah, let's start heading down here. Let's see how much attrition we take uh, on the way. Oh yeah, can we peace out yet? Oh no, we can't peace out because we don't have any Diplo points. Also, France is the war leader. Come on, ships. 3% is attrition. It's not that bad, but it will add up. 3 infamy? Okay, it's not that bad. 
I'm more concerned that we won't have any time to get back and forth. We're actually not taking attrition yet. All right, head on down here. Let's see if we take attrition down here. We might be fabricating these claims too quickly. Ugh. Yeah, go dock up here. There's no port, though. Darn it. But at least we won't take attrition. We'll wait to the end of the month, and then we'll move on. Oh, we can build our own port now. Let's build our own port in Rome. Only need the one. So do we get healed up here? I don't think so. No, it's not a port. All right, so we can't be healed up here. So we'll have to sail on. Sail on. Does he have a port over here? Yes. Sail to his port. Great. We'll take some attrition on the way over, but we can heal up at that port. Uh, we have until February to declare war. That's good. You think Egypt is too strong for us? Maybe. That might be true, but we don't have to use that CB. We can always, we can always just chicken out and not use it. Yay, we annexed Tunis. Yay, Papal Tunis. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Papal Tunis. Well, that's just fantastic. I don't even have anything I really want from here uh, other than um, giving us some prestige. We have a little bit of prestige now. Hooray. And we can recruit some troops there, of course. But for now, let's continue on. Actually, can we actually recruit some troops there? Yeah, we can. We can recruit one Tunisian unit. Great. Maghreb. Papal Tunis, best Tunis? You might be onto something there. I don't know. Build troops. I think you mean more like build troop. There's only one. France allied Sardinia Piedmont, that's fine. Still taking attrition out here, that's not great. But we can heal up here in, is it Mauritius? No, it's Bourbon, my bad. He heal up in Bourbon. Actually, 95% is not that bad. All right, we got our CB on Egypt, but I don't think we're going to use that one. We'll just hold on to it. Okay, so heal up. Now, does he have a, a port in here? He does not. So I think we'll just go straight to Johor. That should be fine. We'll take some attrition on the way, but it'll be okay. Remember, February, we got to declare. Actually, January, we should probably declare. Good, we're all healed up. Time to move on. We'll take some attrition out here at the open sea. That's going to be a big problem. That's why I made sure we healed up before we went out here. Our troop is done. Oh, there we go. The Ottomans declared war on Egypt. So we may not have to worry about Egypt's army if the Ottomans are down here killing them. Right now he has 25 regiments. After the Ottomans are done with him, he may have a lot less than 25 regiments. I guess we'll find out. The fears of Lubeck. Portugal expands. Good for you. Alright, good. We made it just in time. Our CB is about to run out. All right, let's go. Fuck you, Johor. I wonder how long it takes to get off the boat. Probably a long ass time. To 
taking 5% attrition every month. But no, we're off the boat already. All right, well, let's go dock up in France's uh, territory over here. So at least our boats won't take damage. And it's time to siege up Shahor. Great. And when does our CB run out here? September. Oh, we actually have half of a year. That's not that bad. And we can land our troops here in um, Eritrea. We don't actually have to go all the way back around. We can just land them here, walk up to Sinai, and then sail our ships around the long way. So that'll work. Take Jerusalem? Yeah, we could. I guess there's no reason not to. I was planning on Sinai, though. We could take both. We could take Jerusalem and Sinai. But the problem with Jerusalem is the Ottomans have cores on Jerusalem. And it might, be more, might make more sense to not get on the wrong side of the Ottomans. Maybe. At least not until we can actually beat them. Hmm, we're losing money now. I'd rather not be losing money. Coronation of Queen Victoria, good for you. I'm a queen! Hmm. Alright, that's a little better. No, still kind of fluctuating. Ooh, Russia declared war on Kokand, okay. Goodbye, Kokand. France will save us from the Ottomans? Well, sort of. Maybe. Oh, shit, we're still losing money. Why are we still losing money? Liberal. No, no liberal. Why are we still losing money? What the hell can we do about our economy here? Look at this. It's just garbage. The economy is drunk? Yeah, somewhat. Oh, there we go. Now we're making... No, it was just a spike. We made 30 bucks one day. I don't know. I mean, it looks bad, but it's not the end of the world, right? Now, we have until September to declare on Egypt, and I think we might still want to do that. How are they doing? Do they still have 25 regiments? No. See, the Ottomans have killed some of their army. So I think we're okay. If we declared war, I think we'll be okay, actually. I don't know. We'll see. Still going to focus over here, but we're going to have to declare war soon if we want to go take it. Uh, the reason I want to get this siege done right away is so we can go drop our ships off to over here instead of sitting in French territory. Okay, Romanticism is done. Still can't do idealism until 1840, so we'll continue on down this way. Keep the prestige coming in. Mmm, prestige. There we go. Move on. Yeah, our ships don't heal up over here because there's no uh, ports. I think Britain has a port, don't they? No, even Britain doesn't have ports over here. Oh, there we go. Britain does have a port in Madras. Can we get access? No. Hmm. I don't want to spend our diplo points on Britain. Uh, but yeah, we should be able to sail back to France's... France is going for Algeria. That's fine. We should be able to sail back to France's territories to heal up soon-ish. Oh, the Ottomans peaced out. So Egypt is left with nine troops. I think we could still beat that. Maybe? Hmm. Would France join us? Yeah, France will join us. So why don't we go ahead and declare for Sinai. Only need 20 war score for that. We'll call France into the war, uh, and he can start doing the sieging, and we'll bring our troops over once we're done in Johor. That'll work. I think that'll work. France refused to join. Are you kidding me? France didn't join my war. It said very likely, you son of a bitch. France. You asshole. All right, alliance. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> we'll try again. 
Come on, France. Don't be a douche. Don't be a douche. There we go. Dumbass. <laughs> anyway, he can get started on Egypt. That way we don't waste our CB. Looks like he's going to finish his siege before I will. So we're going to have to drop a dude. Uh, just leave a dude. Oops. And the rest of us are going to go kill him, and then we'll come back. War between the Papal States and Egypt. Damn right. Oh, there goes his entire army. Actually, let's go to his capital. Now get us the most war score. Peru declared war on Ecuador. All right. Russia won a war against a small Asian nation? Big surprise! Looks like France has access to the Ottomans. Yep. Can I get access to the Ottomans? No. Alright, we'll have to sail over. Not a problem. Really wish our ships could heal up over here, but 80%, that's pretty good. We'll be fine. We need ports, damn it. Oh yeah, can we build a port in Tunis? I think we can. I don't think it has to be a state to build a port. Let me check. Ding, ding, ding. Um, yeah, we just need 4,000 bucks. All right, good. God, this siege is taking too long. I would love to blockade it to make it go a little faster. Uh, but I can't afford to because there's no place for our ships to heal up. They would just continuously take damage and then die. Oh, and Atse didn't join the war. Oh, so I can still fabricate on Atse. We'll wait, though. We're busy. How's France doing? Pretty good. He sent 30k over. We'll just go straight to Sinai. Get that siege in. Okay, there goes Kuala Lumpur. The reason Johor is taking forever is because they. I think he has a fort there. No, I don't see a fort. Oh. Revolutionaries. The March or the Watch on Rome. Let's see. Liberal. No, no liberal. Sorry, liberals. We're a little busy with the war. There you go. So how are we doing here? Oh, I can't demand it because France became the war leader. God damn it. That's why I wanted France in the Egypt war, but not this war. France wants the Egyptian uh, Aegean Islands. That's fine. I think that's Crete and something else. Might just be Crete. Crete? Yeah, I think it's just Crete. Yeah, that's all he has. Crete. All right. He's killing Egypt's army, which I think means Egypt has no army. No, he's still got seven units. Uh, I don't think they're going to last too long, though. Whoa! We're taking attrition at this dock? Oh, shit. We're actually taking attrition while we're docked up. That's not good. Get out of there. I didn't expect to take attrition while docked up. War between Brazil and Bolivia. That's fine. Better not take attrition over here. I didn't know ships could take attrition while docked. That's news. Anyone know why ships take attrition while docked? They shouldn't. Yeah, it says they're still... So that, that skull means they're still taking attrition. Uh, fine. Go heal up over here, I guess. Wow. That really sucks.
Why take Johor? Because Johor has gold, and later on in the game it'll have rubber, which is useful. Now the problem is my ships are so far away, it's going to take a while. And then they have to stay there for several months to heal up. God damn it. All right, now we're healing up. No, we're not. We're still taking attrition. We're still taking attrition. That's crazy. All right, Jahor should be done. Good, good. Yay, Jahor's done. Can't peace out. France has to do it. There we go. Yay! Oh, it doesn't have a name? Ah, whatever. It's Papal Johor, goddammit. Papal Malaya. Beautiful. Alright. Yeah, our boats are continuously taking attrition, even in a port. It's a supply issue? Well, how am I supposed to get my troops home? How the hell can I get my troops home if they're if my ships are continuously taking attrition? We take attrition even when docked at France's port. This port healed us when we first came through, and now we're taking attrition over here. I really want to heal them. Maintenance to high. Alright, I'll do that for a bit. They're so hurt. Yeah, we're still taking attrition at the port here. All right, it's a race. Let's see if we can get them off the boat before they die. <laughs> I don't know if we can. We'll do our best, damn it. 21%. We're going to lose our army. Eighteen percent. Oh, shit. Funding is maxed out. Eleven percent. Oh shit. Come on, little boats, we're almost there. Ten percent. Seven percent. You know what? Let's just get off here in the we'll get off here and then we'll walk. Hang in their boats. 7%. Oh, we made it. We made it. We're off the boats. Okay, thank God. All right, go straight to Sinai. Actually, France is already there. Uh, we'll just siege up whatever's close. And these boats are just going to fucking die. Um, yeah, come up here. I'm sure the boat's going to die, though. Bye, boats. Nice knowing you. Hmm, whatever. We'll build new boats. Actually, if France finishes that siege... No, the port's on the north side. Damn it! If France was sieging this one, we could dock up. Oh well. Goodbye, boats. So, let's see. Let's build another navy. There you go. Five more clipper transports, not a problem. Add a war goal? Um, yeah, I guess we could. Five infamy for each war goal. Uh, what the hell would we want, though? Maybe this this area? Middle Egypt? 
or this one. If we go for Upper Egypt, that'll give us Luxor, which means we can do the uh, tombs. Let's go for uh, Middle Egypt. I mean, the problem with this area is there's so low population, it's pretty worthless. I like these two regions, Dongola and Eritrea, because they both have oil and rubber. They're useful. Jerusalem. I don't know about that. I mean, the, the Pope... Sh I, you know what? The Pope should have Jerusalem. Hmm. Do something that'll help us colonize. Now, that's a good suggestion. In that case, we probably should do Dongola, because it will let us colonize... So will Eritrea. Hmm. They're both good. Let's add Dongola. Go, little troops. Our ships still are not dead. They're at 2% health, but they're not dying. Do they just not sink? Really odd, our ships are not sinking. 3% health. Oh, France just demanded Egyptian Aleppo. That's a region that the Ottomans have a core on. That's hilarious. Oh, now they're sinking. All right, goodbye, ships. Oh, well, whatever. We're building new ships. Turning over a new leaf. France is taking quite a lot of infamy down here. Cairo is falling. Good, good. Our demands are at about 55, 60%. So I can probably toss in another one. But let's at least siege up something first. We haven't really made a dent in this war. It's all been France, which is fine. Yeah, you can add any claim you want to the war. But it gives you infamy. And now we just siege. And build new ships, of course. Let me make Rome our ship gathering location. There we go. And army gathering location. So all new ships will go to Rome. Very good. Spain is going to go kill Morocco. That's not news. It's normal. Liberal or liberal? Nah, damn it. Stupid liberals. Stupid liberals. All right, our ships are ready to go. Can we afford any factories yet? I can do a cement factory, but I think I'd rather have a glass factory. Yeah, I think I'd rather have glass, because we're importing a lot of glass. We're importing coal, too. Hmm. Our port is almost done. Uh, let's build a port in Tunis as well. And can we afford one in Johore? I really need one here in Johore. The question is where? Uh, probably Johor Bahru. Do it.
next. Still no loans, that's good. We really are racking up the uh, diplomatic points. Why don't we get relations up with our neighbors? Like Sardinia Piedmont. Have some relations, my friend. Two Sicilies. Have some relations, my friend. Probably get alliances with them. Because why not? Twenty-eight percent. And we're doing okay on some of it. Not everywhere. Springtime of nations. Liberal agitation will be removed. Good. Get out of here, liberals. Oh, we can do a we can click a thing. Okay, what kind of government do we want to go for? And if we do anything in the political reforms area, we're gonna start moving towards um Prussian constitutionalism, that sort of stuff, HM's government. Mm, yeah, I guess that's okay. Oh, wow. China took land from Siam. Oh, no, it was Dai Viet who took land from Siam. Look at Dai Viet go. Poor Siam. Poor Siam. Alright, our fleet is ready. Oh, there we go. Limited constitutionalism. We are Russian constitutionalism now. All we had to do was click one button, all of a sudden, Prussian constitutionalism. Fears of Baden. I don't think anyone's afraid of Baden. Um, I don't really want to stick with this party for a... Hold on. I don't really want to stick with this party because it's anti-military. Uh, but it does have... Uh, it does allow me to build factories. Whereas the Conservative Party does not let me build factories. So I think we'll just keep this guy in power for now. So let's uh, stick with whatever the hell he wants for now. The reactionaries. Communist Pope, Fascist Pope, we can do anything. There's lots of possibilities for the Pope man. Ethiopia declared war on Egypt. There you go. Uh, state capitalism, you got it. As soon as we get a conservative party uh, that has the ability for us to build the factories that we want, then we'll vote for it. Or we'll, we'll push people to vote for it. Uh, but until then, we're going to stick with the reactionaries. Yeah, look how many troops Ethiopia has. Jesus. 16 units, my god. I am jelly of Ethiopia. Uh, state capitalism, you got it. Can I build any troops in Johor? Probably not. Nope. Can't build Jack. Uh, protectionism, you got it.
Ah, uh, protectionism, you got it. Oh, shit, the moderati got in power. Nope. Sorry, nothing personal. Nobody wants any of these changes, so there's no real push to do them. I think we'll just wait. Well, no, they do give immigrant attraction. So, yeah, immigrant attraction is kind of useful. Our population is so small. Army of the Emperor of Ethiopia. Ethiopia is an empire? Really? Okay. Yes! Yes! France took something to piss off the Ottomans, and that right there is fantastic. The fact that France took this means the Ottomans will hate them. They have cores there. The Ottomans have cores there. We got Sinai, which is fantastic. Well, it used to be known as Dumyat, now it's known as Sinai. Um, I don't think it really matters where we put our port. Uh, I think we'll put one here in Haleb. And then up here, we'll probably put one on the Mediterranean side. But as soon as we're able to build the Suez Canal, we'll do that. And then it won't matter where the port is. All right. Uh, troops. Uh, oh, kind of unfortunate that we're over here. Well, you can at least go over here. Oh, we can just ferry them back and forth, I guess. Eh, we can't walk through. We can walk this way. We can walk through the fucking desert over to Tunis. Uh, in fact, I think we will do that. Let's go through the desert. You can just go along the coastline. You got Black Flag, you can go anywhere. So you go that way. Uh, the rest of us are going to go through the desert to Tunis. Okay, great. We can go dock up over there. But yeah, I think that's a great start. So why don't we call that first episode done? Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. The Pope has Sinai, Tunisia, Johore, and Dongla. Fantastic, huh? I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.